Hello everybody, Generally Good Gamer here. We are back, continuing right off from where we left it in the last video. Uh, what we are doing is running inside here, doing something to do with Goldtooth. Uh, does it say kill him? Probably. So let's make our way through. Yeah, kill Goldtooth and pick up his necklace. So that's what we'll do. Uh, we're getting no experience in this stuff but that's okay because we're not doing this primarily for the experience we're doing it for the story and this playthrough is is pretty much an exposition of uh general's general's uh, sort of uh, uh, development uh, character development through uh, through human territory now where is this guy, I'm reckoning, reckoning he'll be uh, one of these characters that's just consistently dead and will have to compete against many other players for. So with that in mind, we might want to level up. He looks like he's in a group already. Uh, I don't mean to just run by him and not help, but that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> now we do need some mana. So let's do that. Let's let's have a little drink. But yeah, I mean, Jenna is definitely known to be somewhat isolationist. She she had everything done for her when she was younger. So she did rely on others, but she didn't really realize that they were doing her a service. She just sort of had it all her life. So she saw it as uh, as you know an expectation almost that uh, others would do for her. Uh, you know sort of the, the basic life sort of stuff of cooking and cleaning and all of that and so she's somewhat selfish and she does things for for her yeah but if she can see gain from doing things uh, for others you know where she will get favor or she'll get something or other else then then she will tend to to look like at least she's doing something for the good of others but that's that's not really what's going on so we're just running past these fools right ah yes goldtooth will likely be over here let's ask for a group let's see what happens We have another one on us. They're not inviting. Doesn't mean they won't. But they should really, because we're quite high level now, comparatively for the dungeon. So we could be of use. Or maybe they're heading out. Oh, nice buff. Thank you. Quick, there you go. Got you. I should get myself too. So if we type slash tar gold, he is dead. Right. I wonder where. Maybe on the left? We'll try on the left. It's hard to know for certain. Gold, gold, gold. We'll kill this one and then we'll tar gold to get and see if he's. Gold tooth is alive. Right, I'm thinking then must be around the corner here. Are we right? No. So gold tooth is elsewhere. One this guy. There we are. Oh my gosh, we missed him. He was just there. Ah, oh, so he's behind us. What a fool. That's all right. At least we know now that he spawns in this area, unless he's a patroller and he just runs around and around. But I do doubt that. I don't remember seeing many patrolling uh, bosses in Vanilla WoW. He may have updated and changed things here, but I don't think so. Anyway, we will 
campus area. And it's okay because we're getting quite a few of these, uh, quite a bit of linen cloth here, so we can probably do a bit of first aid while we wait for the respawn. So let's do that. Let's let's make some bandages. I think when we get to level four, oh yes, nice here, quick spawn, indeed. Wand, no more mana. So let's just take him out. That was extremely quick. Good. Right. Let's head out. Okay. So Stonefield Farm. Let's go there then next. We should be almost done with most of these quests. We do need to head back to the East Bell Longing Cavern at some point to uh, hand in that quest to get cloth and leather armor here. So for now, I don't think there was anything at the McClure needs, but oh, there was. Oh no, yes, there is. Good. All right, we'll go there then. Yes, Maybell. He wants more water. It's an interesting quest. I wonder what the point purpose of that is. Maybe it's you know if you're running low on on mana or whatever else. Was it? Yeah. Oh, if, I guess if you only need food, then that'll be a. Oh, was this guy racing us? Oh yes, we did it first. Nice. I didn't hear what she said though. Here goes nothing. Oh, she's gone. Fantastic. Do we hang around? Do we go? Hmm. Okay. Oh, she's back. No quest to give us. Okay then, fine. Uh, something I do want to turn on, by the way, is faction gain and honor gain in chat. I like, I like, I just like seeing it. Uh, so we'll turn that on. So let's head to Stonefield Farm. And once we've done that, we will assess where we are quest wise. Uh, but General is exceptionally fit. Now, I've mentioned before that she, you know, was a. She was. You know, did cheer in her early life some gymnastics as well. So she is an exceptionally fit person who absolutely loves, loves to twirl. And she's good at it too. So this running over distance that she's doing in Goldshire in uh, Elven Forest is is nothing for her. You know, she was built. She is built uh, built differently, as as they say. She's built for this. Hello. Right, lots of quests to hand in. Thank goodness that pig was getting so big she'd have eaten our whole crop. Thank you, General. No probs. Let's get some boots. How are these comparing to what we've got? Those are a big upgrade from zero armor to 13 and they don't look so bad. I mean goes the red goes with our red belt That's all right What about you auntie? Oh you found it. Thank you. Thank you dear here take this It was my husband's and he always said it was lucky if only he didn't get it forget it on his last campaign Oh, She's upset there. Okay, he must have passed Oh, I like those. Those are cool. I don't think we could wear them. Okay, now grammar. Oh, tell me you put those dirty beasts in the ground. What about my pumpkins? Did you manage to find my sweet pumpkins? By the light, my dear child, I can't tell you what a blessing you've been to all of us here in the farm. You've done more than enough to earn a pie, General. Take it with my deepest gratitude. Interestingly, I thought that these three women were bitches when we first started. I thought they were absolutely horrible. But it turns out, well, maybe they still are, but uh, very grateful bitches, that's for sure. Now, we actually have an offhand here. That isn't bad at all. So if we had a one hand weapon, we could use it with this. Hmm. We can just put it on, okay. So we're not gonna use our staff really, so I think it's worth having this offhand and picking up a main hand when we can. And having no uh, main hand. That's fine, let's do that. So that gives us two stamina, one intellect. So intellect increases mana points and charge, charge score a critical hit. 
Okay, and uh, stamina is health. I believe nothing else. Good. Okay, that's fine. That's great. That's very good. We've got that then. Right, so uh, that one is in Goldshire. It's fine. And then cloth under the armor. It's fine. And these two. So we can move on. I think what we'll do is we will go straight to back to Goldshire and then we will make our way to the Eastvale logging camp and we just missed a silver leaf we need that pick that one up and we've got another one there if you remember that was our limiting factor to uh, to making more potions so we'll make sure we get oh fuck me blender MVP uh, you nub stole our silver leaf <sighs> General definitely felt like typing slash spit just then. Although I don't know, is slash spit a thing? It is. So I believe in retail WoW well that they've removed slash spit, which, uh, well, I must say is a, it's a recurring theme of our times to remove uh, potentially um, you know, volatile words and language and, and all the rest. I have thoughts about these things, which I won't, won't bring up for now. <laughs> but uh, in any case, I'm glad that it's still in in, uh, in Turtle Well. That's good. Right, so zooming in again, preparing for the lag that is uh, Goldshire. Let's go around this way and we have a quest to hand in with Gina Weller. But if she wants the pumpkin. Hello, horse. Okay. Oh, you're back, and you've brought me pie. Finally, I can enjoy that sweet, delicious pumpkin pie. And we get another green. So, hands or belt. Uh, I mean, they have big armor upgrades as well. Let's just see how they look then. So, that's the hands compared to what we've got. Now, let's look at the belt. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go for the hands. I like the belt we've got right now, it looks cool. Right, uh, where are you? There you are. God, we're getting all the greens now. I think this is a difference to uh, com compared to, to classic vanilla as well, because in classic vanilla, greens were, you know, you, you didn't get them for a while. Uh, I think they were they were quite a, a rare, rare sighting. So to see them here is is nice. All right, I'm gonna head back here. See if there's anything that we can cook up. God, some more spiced wolf meat ready for the Tupperware. Here we go. Five more Tupperwares. I think we can get two per Tupperware. So, you know, General right now is carrying 10. Should be carrying 11 Tupperwares worth of, of spiced wolf meat. That's, that's a fair, it's a fair amount. Uh, I think, you know, we, we have to remember as well that high elves are stronger than, than uh, humans, for example. They, they look dainty and they look graceful but they have an immense strength to them which she's displaying by carrying around 11 Tupperwares of spice wolf meat right so we do want to go to Stormwind as well because we have a mage quest and we have this high elf quest too so we will be going back there but for now let's make our way to the Eastvale logging camp where is our hearth set to that's to Stormwind City fantastic good so we will go and have this quest in, followed by going to Stormwind. I think that makes a lot of sense. Right. Okay, we might have to redo our buff in a second for lesser armor. Excuse me, Wolf. Okay. What else have we got here? Let's have a look, see if we've we haven't got any suggested dungeons, nope. We do need to make a few kills though, because I think if we do, then suggested dungeons may, we, we may get a suggested dungeon of RFC. Uh, is it, what is it again? Ragefire Chasm, that's the one. Hard to get to though, and it is in Orgrimmar, so I, I don't know if actually it will suggest it as Rare Alliance. 
In fact, it would be surprising. I don't know if, if people ever managed to do that back in classic vanilla as an alliance. It likely wasn't a thing. Uh, as doing that sort of going on that venture there. I mean, there's no reason to go over to to that area of the world, uh, and, and let alone go into to the uh, the capital city of the Horde or the Orc capital city. I mean, there's <laughs> there's absolutely no reason for that. Ah, Lulu, our trusty. Actually, Lulu, what are you good for? Can't be absolutely nothing. And you don't carry anything for us. Do you? No, I don't think so. So if you don't carry anything for us, I mean, General's getting more and more uh, tempted by the the idea of turning Lulu into something like a, let's not say tasty, but, but a meal. Uh, a bit of mutton. I don't think it will be too tough either or gamey. Uh, Lulu is, she looks quite plump. So uh, it may have to be sooner rather than later, otherwise she'll become quite gamey. And, and although actually that's, General does have a taste for the gamey. I mean, she loves wolves. So perhaps if you do lose a bit more weight, Lulu, you lean up a bit, uh, you'll become even more of a temptation for, uh, for General. Anyway. Conversation for another time. Let's let's put General uh, put Lulu away for now, just so that temptation doesn't continue. So let's do that. Can we dismiss? Let us dismiss her. Yes, the temptation has disappeared. It is now in in uh, in General's pocket. That is where <laughs> that's where Lulu's kept. It's like a Pokeball. She is a Pokeball. Yeah, she's in a Pokeball right now. The two universes have collided. Hello, Sarah. I have been commissioned by the Stormwind Army to supply their people with cloth and leather armor. If you have a marker for me, then I'll be happy to make you something. Ah, thank you for the marker. Please feel free to choose your choice of armor. Lucky to you, oh, luck to you, brave mage. Apologies for the wedding. And may this armor serve you well. Right, let's go for the well-stitched robe. Or shall we? No, no, definitely not. We're gonna keep the brown lumberjack vest. Okay, we'll go for the pants, the patched pants. And, and how does this count as armor? I mean, Sarah, really, how were you commissioned to create patched pants or a well-stitched robe? And, and that would be classed as armor. That sounds like governmental wastage. Do you have a friend up high? I think you must. What is this? That's a silver leaf. All right, let's get this silver leaf and then we'll half to Stormwind. Look at this. We've really cleared out the, the quests around here. And I'll also say that actually with the money that we have the 20 gold that we were given very or donated very very generously to uh, i i think we could actually hand in that gadget sand times quest as well so we'll, we'll purchase that too up there you fuck you fuck hope oh he failed oh my gosh he failed <laughs> oh i'm sorry <laughs> oh that's amazing i am very sorry hardcore drinking too that is funny oh crap I got rid of my spell all right we'll put that back on let's put that back where are we going let's, uh, let's have a look we are on conjure water rank two there we go let's buff up while we're here and I love the music that's kicking in very good right so we are in our, our area. Uh, let's try and remind ourselves where these quests are. So we're in a Dwarven district right now. We need to go to... Oh! Oh, hello! Applebar. Oh, you and all the wiser tree. Trees are supposed to have beautiful foliage, but mine is wilted and dying. Am I going to survive? I have only experienced a few blooms in my time, but this season things are different. At the ends of my leaves there are usually pink petals sprouting by now, but instead my branches are barren. I don't think this is normal. 
Maybe a druid might know what's wrong with me. They're much older and wiser, anyhow. Inspect him and help him grow back his fruit. Sorry for that voice. I mean, I'm going to keep doing it. Don't worry about it, but uh, it, I'll work on it. How about that? Okay, so he must be a slightly young tree or younger than some of his some other trees uh, but he, he wants some advice essentially maybe he's got some sort of disease or sickness uh, and Apple I hope you have room for some quite odd uh, extraneous goods that I'm going to sell to you now some ragged cloth gloves some apprentice boots uh, we don't actually have anything for the small spire legs I think that's a, 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 a cooking recipe we can get from the night elves but we don't have that so let's just sell this stuff here to you we might actually want to go to the auction house perhaps buy a one-hander something like that um, actually yes and we can put on the ceremonial buckler we'll do that too right okay so we want to go to the storm and keep and so uh, storm and keep a nearby druid. Hmm. Maybe we should go to the park. I know there are druids there. Let's try that. Yes. We will try this. I'm not sure where else to, to try. But I know there are druid trainers there. So that's the Storm and Keep one. So that's the High Elf quest. Elmore's task. Uh, that's a Dwarven Weaponsmith. So we can go to the Dwarven District and do that one too. And speak with Jamea in the Mage District. So we'll go to the Park. Mage Quarter. Auction House. Back to the Dwarven District. Yeah, we'll do that. We should also look out for quests on the way. We're a higher level now. So there might be some that... Uh, weren't previously pick up a ball. Okay. Ah, what lovely music. Oh, yes. Are we thir We're not 13 yet, no. I was going to say check the, you know, the, the, the dungeons available to us, but we haven't leveled yet. It would be nice as well to get blink at some point. I think if we get blink, our movement speed will be fractionally faster. <laughs> now, if you don't know what blink is, which I'm sure most of you do, but blink is a uh, an ability which allows you to blink forward a certain distance into the, uh, so you can just move a little bit more quickly. Right, let's talk to a druid trainer. Okay, not you apparently. about you nope you're a priest trainer hmm I'm not sure about this one perhaps when he said nearby he meant nearby maybe there was a, a druid in the vicinity and we've just over complicated over complicated this one uh, Thalassian Alliance Well, whatever. We will continue onwards. Ah, so there's a cold Tyran. They shouldn't be around here, should they? Well, yeah. Indeed, I cannot even talk to him. So perhaps they've they've not added much to do with uh, the cold Tyrans just yet to, to turtle well. I can't talk to you, can I, Druggy? You don't know anything about Appleborough? Appleborough? Applebow? Perhaps not. Okay, so the mage quest is around here. I can see the yellow dot on the map. I like to see this in the trade chat as well. There's, uh, you know, lick my balls. Is uh, selling some spider silk, licks the fence. Good to see the entrepreneurs uh, out and about. 
Right, so I'm presuming I need to go up into the tower. Let's try that. There's Clavicus as well. So we have two quests around here. I can't remember which one Clavicus is. Anyway, we'll find out. Uh, did we did we miss something? Let's just keep going further up. We'll try it inside. Where are we? Aha! Here we are. Mage trainer. Janea Cannon. Greetings, mage. Shall I provide you with further insights into the world of magic? Hmm? You have been sent to aid me in my task, General. Good. It is heartening to see young mages help, eager to help in our cause. What cause, you ask? In time, young one. You shall know. In time. This world has been victim to massive mystic struggles which tore magic currents from once stable channels. We struggle to determine the effects these changes have caused, and some of us fear the worst. But I will reveal more of this later. Right now we need you to gather information. Here, take this flask. Go to the base of the waterfall of Mirror Lake, southwest of the Stormwind Gates, and retrieve a sample of the water there. Return it to me so that I may test it for magical taints. We can do that. Oh, oh, portal trainer. Level 20, okay, that's not too far away. And then we get the group portal at level 40, I just noticed. Safe travels. Why do all mages have the same voice? Okay. So it looks like we're heading to the trade district now. Let's do that. Okay, this is Clavicus. I'm not sure what quest this is. Uh, Taylor. Oh, it wouldn't happen to be the Linen Cloth quest, would it? Aha! Oh, it's wool. Wool, okay. Well, that's a wool quest. Yeah, maybe there wasn't actually a quest for handing in the Linen Cloth. So, uh, there are a few quests in the game which are nice and easy to hand in. Uh, they just require you having a supply of 60 Linen Cloth. Uh, sorry, cloth of a certain type and then you can go and hand it in for a good amount of experience. I don't think though that there is one for linen cloth, I think it's for wool, silk, uh, rune cloth. I can't remember, there's one in between. Aha, League of Arathor. Could we join the battle? No. I, well, maybe we could, but there doesn't seem to be anyone fighting at the moment. Now that is a cool outfit he's got going on there. Gron. What is he wielding? Widow's Remorse. Oh my gosh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, we've got some very good gear. Hmm. Ah yes, so this is the Gadget Zone quest. And we have another one here actually. So for now, let's go here. It's by volume two. That is long. So what is this about? Okay. Shredder Tech. I always thought the name Shredder was a bit of a poor marketing choice, really. These mechanical machines are worth 50 goblin laborers, and they don't always have to shred. Oh no, they can saw, rip, tear, shred, grind, smash, crush. The possibilities. Dear reader, the possibilities are almost endless. Maybe you're a potential investor. Maybe you're some hoodwink who wants to rob the glorious oil guzzlers of their fused wiring to sell on the black market. Hey, I don't judge. In fact, if you get any, I'll pay a good price myself. Either way, here's the most recent investors. Ashvale, the water and lumber camp. To see the scale of this operation is a marvel to behold. The entertainment of the orcs and elves stabbing each other just on the other side of the river is pretty amusing too. 
Stone Tower Mountains. The Venture Co. and the Windshear Crag. I mean, yeah, the tree huggers get another forest chopped down. But who cares? That valley, vol valley was ugliest in any way. It looks way better with a bit of industrialization. Stranglethorn Vale. The Venture Co. near Lake Naz Ferati. Naz Ferati. Keeping the geologists hard at work. These beasts rip through the undergrowth to allow the research to continue. Some beautiful crystals I hear they find out there too. Westfall? I heard one fancy unit was shipped to somewhere in Westfall, but I've not heard where, about where it's gone to. Well, who has it? Weird. It disappeared into thin air. Hmm. That wouldn't happen to be dead mines, would it? The quarry. So there I was, dear readers. There I was, taking a tour through the burning steps to visit, visit a colleague in Flame Crest. Let me paint the picture. The sun was high and scorching, the land was black as tar and burning, and the wildlife was equal parts ugly and dangerous. When suddenly, boom, the biggest explosion I ever did here made the ground itself pulse it did. Naturally, I just had to find out what could cause such a thing of beauty. Well, on the horizon, I spied a deep green smoke plume coming from a quarry in the eastern hills. Smell unlike anything I can compare it to. Made my nose crinkle and my eyes water. I didn't get much closer, but I could see by the entrance of the quarry, those curious dark irons were milling about, guarding the perimeter, shouting at each other in that strange dwarven dialect. Asking about, apparently there had been a lot of movements in the area, travelling back and forth down the rocky roads. Guess the quarry ain't so disused anymore. Question is, what's it being used for? That ungodly smell seemed to be novel. No gunpowder there, the explosion seems more frequent and violent not just blasting apart rock for minerals. One brave, and equally stupid, goblin tried to meet with the foreman, Bargle, to find out what was going on. She never returned. But honestly, what does she expect to happen? All I know is, where there's activity, there's production. Where there's production, there's business. And where there's business, there's gold. Far be it from me to tell you adventuring types where to spend your time and effort, but if I were you, I would be having a few words with the dwarves said to find out what's going on and maybe become an early investor, or at least sell their part as secrets to me ideally. Zeppelin accidents. It really is amazing what people will put up with for the sake of having time and convenience. Now, I may have long since had shares in the Zeppelin transport companies. They are the lifeblood of travel, getting orcs, goblins, even colossal tauren across the continents within days. Anyone smart enough would see this as a worthwhile investment. We got ourselves competition now though. Some upstarts started running air travel all the way to Kargath. That's right, the desert dust and winds, the bane of any airship, and these dumbos decided it was their perfect destination to run their routes to. Needless to say, the results ain't pretty. Day after day, we get reports of bodies drying in the desert sun, flung from the decking of the zeppelins as they careen through the inhospitable winds. There are even reports of crashes and explosions. Oh my, oh my. Say what you want about goblin engineering. The only fatalities we've had so far in Zeppelins were from people thinking they could shave minutes off their journeys by jumping off as we flew over their homes. I've done that. Or the occasionally cheeky mind control magic spell, which of course we take zero responsibility for. That much is in the small print when we agree to ride the aircraft. I don't think I need to elaborate. It's lunacy to take their transport. Stick with the established routes, stay safe, stay, al stay alive, give us your custom and not them. Love it. I like that. Lots of world building and uh, uh, <laughs> sort of a bit of a, a meta sort of stuff there with a the mind control and jumping off. I like that a lot. Ophelia Worthington. Fashion demand sacrifices. Greetings. Aren't you here for some fashion coins exchange? Well then, one will cost you some materials. Here's what we need at the moment. I need all the items on the list, and not a single one of it less. Make sure they aren't damaged or chipped. I'm not a goblin to meddle with. She's not. You're not a go. You are not a goblin. Five linen cloth, light leather, malachite, small uh, small leather collar for fashion eater's apprentice, and receive one fashion coin as a reward. What is a fashion? Hmm. Interesting. What are you looking for? Oh. How cool. Okay, so this is transmogrification. Interesting. Well, we'll keep that quest there. And 
and come back to it at some point. Now, let's go to the auction house and see what they have for sale. We would like a one-hander, please. Okay, weapon. We can use daggers, right? Let's get a dagger. Okay. Anything with a bit of intellect on would be nice. This is a nature spell damage here. This is agility again. What level are we? We are. So stamina maybe. Stamina isn't so bad. Uh, agility. Okay. Looks like we might have to go for just uh, agility at the moment then. Oh, sorry, stamina. Let's give a stamina at the moment. It's nothing really. Fire spell damage, but we're frost, so no point with that. Yes, let's go for that. Let's go for this war knife of stamina, which apparently we cannot use a dagger. Oh, okay, God. What can we use? Let's quickly go to skills. We have weapon skills, we have staves, unarmed wands. We definitely can use daggers and swords. So potentially then what we should do is uh, go to a weapons trainer in Stormwind to see what they can give us. Let's also sell this ceremonial buckler. Ceremonial buckler. It doesn't sell for very much, but we'll put it on anyway and, and see what happens. Maybe for eight silver. Let's do that. Okay. Right. And I think we'll... Yes, let's go and find a weapons trainer as well. Get a few things out of the way. Mm. Where would we go for that? Here's a guard. Okay. Likely into the old town, I'd say. Weapons trainer. Master Wu Ping has mastered nearly every weapon known to man. He is especially deadly with his sword techniques. What is Arsenal? Okay. Oh, he's right here. Aha! Interesting. Wu Ping. I like. Wow, you are buff. Daggers, one handed swords. Great. Thank you, Wu Ping. We should also look at swords then, see if there's anything we can purge for the sword. Maybe there's something with a bit of spell power or something of the like. Get rid of that. Uh, one handed swords, useful. Right, strength, attack power, stamina, agility, strength, agility. Okay, ooh, three stamina, very nice. Now let's look at unusable, but up to level, let's say up to level, what are we right now? 12, I think, or almost 12. So let's do that. So these really are a bit higher, but they don't have the stats we want. So let's spend a, a little bit getting uh, some stamina. I'm not going to spend all of that gold to get. Oh, this is two stamina. Let's go for that one. There was one I think that was a bit better, so we just go to the useful instead. And I think there was one that was like about a gold. Anyway, we'll, we'll go for something like this. Let's go for level. Blade, what's that? It's agility. Now all this strength. Right, okay, let's just do this. Let's go back a page and get the Ooh, three armor. Interesting. Yeah, the one that had two stamina. I think it was somewhere around here. There we go. Raider short sword of Stamina or Red Ridge Machete. Hmm. Oh, the Machete for sure. It's cheaper and looks cooler. Very good. Come on, Jal. Let's uh, get you that weapon. 
Now you have no training in swords, so you're gonna have to get used to the feeling of a of heft, the heft of a of a nice weapon in your hand. Right, so equip that. Oof, lovely. Yes, you are ready. Wow, what a, a twirl with a lantern. Useful. And again, thank you for showing off, Jal. Yeah, okay, you stop showing off right now. Brilliant. Okay. Now put it away before you poke your eye out. Okay. Oops. Oh, your wand. Yeah, put that away too. What was that though? I think that was 12 inch Phoenix heartstring, something like that. Pliable. Right. We will go to. Right, we still need to find a nearby druid. Stormwood Keep. And the Dwarven District. Right. So this is Stormwood Keep. Oh. It's so big that it's uh, it's fading off into the clouds. Okay. Right, I think think oh my gosh what is this Anixia's guards this is ridiculous wow what a battle can we oh my gosh this is actually red we could probably if we can hit him we could likely get something from this oh my gosh let's keep going <laughs> Can we hit this mob? It's resisting. Still resisting. Still resisting. We are doing our thing for the, uh, <laughs> the alliance. This level 60 guy here is, is, uh, gave us a nice buff. Oh, eight stamina for all. No. No, no, no. Oh, there's one there. Let's try with this one. Can we get one hit on a mob? Please, just one hit. One hit. Come on. Come on. We want all the riches in the world. General will get all the riches in the world. Oh my god, no. Oh, we tried. We tried our best. Fine. We will. Pick up a quest to fight for Warsaw Gulch. Always good to have these quests uh, when we do eventually enter Warsaw. Oh my god, there's loads going on. We're not going to join yet because we're, we'll get demolished. Level 12, and I'm sure there'll be twinks around. Uh, but in any case, yeah, so it's good to have those quests going on. As I love PvP. Uh, and you know, it's just a bit of extra experience for doing something quite fun. That will do anyway. Well, good luck. You're almost there. Well done, High Lord Bolvar. Well done. Wow, that was that was unfortunate. If one member RFC any role. That's a goblin warrior. But we're against goblins. How is this working? Is this how it's supposed to be? Is it supposed to be that we have uh, goblins, or the whole horde more generally, and alliance working together? I I didn't know that. Ooh, King Lane the First, the House of Rim, Liege Lord of Stormwind, Defender of Azeroth. Now, I don't know if this is new or not. I actually don't remember any of this. Dalen Proudmoore. Must be Jaina's father. And Mara Four Dragon. High Clarus of Stormwind. Patron of the refugees who fl fled to Lordaeron after the first war. She was the bright mother of our future. May she rest in the light. Hmm, I wonder if this is new. I don't, I don't remember any of this. Right, well, I'm still looking for this Caledra Dawnbreeze. Bardash Balamore. We need to speak to Caledra, Storm and Keep. Hmm. Let's 
to her. Nope, that's Priestess Tyriona. There's a librarian here. What did he want again? He wanted library script. Gregor, Milton, none of them. Perhaps we've run past this person. Let's do slash tar. Cow. Eh. Okay. There's somewhere. Not certain where. And they don't have a face by the looks of things. But they're close enough that we can target them. Now if we move too far away, this should disappear. So we'll know we're going in the wrong direction. I'm thinking it might be over here. What we'll do is we'll start off over here. See if there's anything. So we have Duke Raymond the Third. Ah, Caledra, there you are. A few other people here as well. Some noble people, some culture and diplomat. Okay, interesting. This is a noble that is drunk. How interesting. This may not be very obvious at first glance, High Elf. However, I assure you, we are glad to accept the help the Alliance is giving us in such dire times. Greetings, I'm here to help. I'm glad that you wish to assist us. I will do my best to recap where we stand. I'll explain the situation. I am Caledra Dawnbreeze, formerly a ranger captain of the Fast Riders during the Second War, but now merely a citizen of Stormwind. After the loss of Calthalas, our people suffered deeply due to the addiction to magic. Some of us, led by our former prince, Calthas, were seduced by dark magic. And, from what I've heard, they betrayed the Alliance by siding with the neat creatures known as the Naga. I've heard other, more troubling accounts. Regardless, they are lost to us. We should focus on those who have chosen to remain in the Alliance. A few months ago, I managed to gather representatives of our people from all outlying settlements, such as the Fast Rider Lodges. There was a meeting where it was agreed upon that the time has come for our people to join their efforts so that we may create a home for ourselves. One where we could rebuild our people in time. Living in a military lodge or cities belonging to other races simply isn't the way to make progress in reforming our culture. Thankfully, Dalaran's surviving archives provided an opportunity. Roughly a century ago, an outpost was built on a peninsula near Calthalas. The outpost is powered by an arcane crystal infused with the energies of the Sunwell itself. In other words, it's a way for us to cope with the addiction to magic that we've been suffering from. The crystal will not last forever, but will buy us time to find a cure. Our scouts have managed to find the site, and they confirm that it is inhabitable. Our people have begun to settle the outpost, and they have named it Allah Thalas the land of light in our tongue. However, the buildings are old and have been maintained improperly. We lack the reagents and materials to sustain the enchantments that protect the outpost. Likewise, the local mine has been infested with creatures. In other words, any help that you could provide would be greatly appreciated. So you seek to wish to assist us in our effort? Wonderful. Our people have set up a new settlement called Allah Thalas that I just told you about on the coast north of Stratholm, bordering Calthalas. However, setting up a new home is difficult and we have run into our share of issues. Your help will definitely be appreciated. I hear some of our situation for you. Now that you know what we're dealing with in our history, I suppose you just told me all that in the wrong order, the time has come to act. If you're truly interested in helping us, then this is the way. One of our most talented mages has established a ley line connection to Allah Thalas. Go to the mage tower in the mage district and speak to Al Sharan. She'll be able to take you there. Once you arrive, I'm sure some will tend to you. Hmm. Right, so we have choices to make. It seems like we either continue as we are with the uh, human quest line or we go and help our own people an interesting quest uh, an interesting decision to, have to make i'm unsure what we're going to do but i think we will talk more about this next time so for now i'm going to leave it there and uh, once again thank you for joining me and i'll see you all later